Six-time Eclipse winner Wise Dan's career may have ended in 2015, but he's still beloved by fans today. We visited him and his also talented half-brother Successful Dan at their trainer Charlie Lepresti and his wife Amy's farm in Kentucky. With Wise Dan, it had been so long since he'd been turned out with anything. When we brought him home from the track, we uh, actually, he was by himself for maybe a month or so, and then we had just weaned our, our calves, so I put him out with them. And it was kind of, it, it was funny because he didn't know how to be around another animal. Because he had gotten so human-like, he he's, Charlie's always said he's kind of half human. So when we turned him out with them, he got really attached to them and like uh, he would take them and, and keep them in, with him all the time. Like if they tried to wander off from him, he'd go around them and bring them back, you know, into a little group. Finally, we got up the nerve to turn him out with Successful Dan and it was, it was a little bit of an experience because they just took off. <laughs> and I thought poor Charlie was gonna have a heart attack because they just, he was convinced he was gonna get hurt. Since then, they've been like, they're just joined at the hip. The old horse, Successful Dan, he's got a really special place just for us because he could come back and he tried so hard and he, he's, he's got a great personality and everything, but I've, they're both really incredible. They were really incredible racehorses and they got big, big hearts. The other day when we took him to, um, old friends, there was a lady there that had been a, a volunteer there and she had had some health issues and she was now in a wheelchair. She wheeled up to the stall front. He just took his head out and put his ears up and touched her face, you know, with his nose and blew in her hair. He just kind of stayed there with her and I like that part of him. He's very, he's really, really sensitive that way. That, that part of him makes him so much different than Successful Dan. He does have a lot of human qualities. I know that sounds strange for a horse. And he could, you know, like I said, be a babysitter here at the farm, but I don't really think they need to, he needs to do too much. He, you know, he gets enough attention w even without riding him. I get on him every once in a while and ride him with the babies when we're breaking yearlings. He's pretty sure he's still king of the world. That's our big joke. <laughs> For us, I mean, I think the biggest thing is that they retired sound. Sound enough to be able to enjoy the rest of their life.